Hello boys and girls, Mr. Jumini. Just wanted to take a quick moment to review lesson 1-1 one, one in the pre-algebra curriculum. And lesson 1-1 one, one discussed variables and expressions. We did a lot of vocabulary today with variables, expressions, constants, coefficients, all these fancy new terms. Um, so let's take a look at how we can apply some of those terms. So here I see the word evaluate. So it says evaluate each expression for the given, so they're going to give us the given value of the variable. Okay, so here I see 12a plus 8 for a equals 5. So originally I did not know what the variable a was, but now I know that it's worth 5. And we call this 12 the coefficient because we are multiplying it by an unknown. So now instead of being 12 times a, we know that a is equal to 5. So we go 12 times 5. I'm going to put the 5 in parentheses, which is a way to show multiplication. 12 times 5 plus 8. Now we must remember PEMDAS, of order of operations. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, addition, subtraction. No parentheses or exponents. This is in a parenthesis, but there's no operation to go on. Now I have multiplication, division. I go 12 times 5 is 60. I say 60 and I bring down what I did not use, 60 plus 8, that gives me 68. Now, a good way to do this at home is you see the problem that I'm doing, pause it once I start the problem, and then see if you can solve it on a piece of paper, and then come back and hit play and see if you had it right. So for the next one, 11 times, in parentheses, 7 minus b, close parentheses, 4b equals 3. Now, I have no coefficient here because I'm not multiplying a whole number times a or a value times a variable. So if I were to substitute the 3 in, it becomes 11 times, open parentheses, 7 minus, we now know that b is equal to 3, close parentheses. Now, again, if you're at home, great time to pause it. See if you can solve this on your own. And then you could hit, wait a little, try to solve it, and come back, see what you got. Now, if I am solving this, I'm using PEMDAS again, parentheses, there are parentheses. It's 7 minus 3. I did not use it times 11 first yet, so I'll bring that back down. 7 minus 3 is 4. I now have 11 times 4 gives me 44. Okay. So hopefully if you paused and hit play again, you had that right. Let's go and take a look at this next one. I'll choose another color here. Let's try this neon green. So I have 3 times, and I know that's multiplication because there's nothing in between the parentheses and that whole number there that value, so I'm going to multiply 3 times 8 minus n, close parentheses, plus 2. Oh boy, they add more stuff here. So I see n is equal to 2, so I'm going to substitute in, I'm going to substitute in that 2 for n now. So if I were to write this, I have 3 times, open parentheses, 8 minus 2, close parentheses, plus 2. So I look at PEMDAS, tells me parentheses first. I have 8 minus 2 in parentheses, so I'm going to take 3. I'm going to go 8 minus 2 in the parentheses, gives me 6 plus 2. Now, this is where we lose our, we start to get tempted to add the 6 and 2 together, but there's no symbol in here, so I have to multiply first. So I go 3 times 8. What is 3 times 8? All right, I go 3 times 8 first. 3 times 8 is, or 3 times 6, I'm sorry, 3 times 6 is... 18, I have 18 plus 2. I now combine those two. 18 plus 2 gives me 20. I now I know that's 20. So hopefully if you paused and you checked, that would be the correct answer. Uh, let's do one more here. 6 plus 3 times x minus 9, close parentheses for x equals 12. All right, let's do a little substitution here. I now know what 12, or x equals. It is 12. I now say 6 plus 3 on the outside, but wait a minute, there's that parentheses, so that means multiplication first, so before I ever add, I'm going to have to do some multiplication here. The x is equal to 12, so I substitute that in, 12 minus 9. Okay, parentheses first. I have 6 plus 3. Okay, 12 minus 9, that is 3. Okay, I have addition and multiplication here. I must multiply first. 3 times 3 is 9. I now have 6 plus 9. 6 plus 9 equals 15. All right. Let's take a look real quick at one more. If J is Jamal's gross pay, then G... Did I say G here? I may have said... If G, not J, I was me looking at Jamal's name. If G is Jamal's gross pay, then G minus... Now, we just got done doing decimals. 2 tenths 
times G can be used to find his take home pay after 20% is taken out. For taxes, find Jamal's take home pay for each gross pay amount. Now I'm just going to do, I'm going to skip 17 and 18. I'm going to do, uh, I'll do 19 for you here. Now they give us the expression to use. It's going to be G minus 2 tenths, which is the same as 20% times G. And they're giving us what G is. G is equal to now $370. So I will take $370 and substitute it into the expression. $370 minus, now we have to figure out what 20% of Jamal's pay was. So 2 tenths times 370. All right, so what do I do? Subtract or multiply first? Correct, I multiply first. So let's take 370 times it by 2 tenths. That is 0. 7 times 2 is 14. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. Move the decimal place over once. $74. So now I my expression would say, hey, $370 minus 74. I am going to get 200. Now, if I took away 70, that'd be 300. I have to take away four more. So that's $296 is Jamal's take-home pay. Taxes are not fun, boys and girls. Uh, now, if I take a look, all sweaters at Knit Incorporated are on sale for 15% off the regular price. Write an expression for the sweater price after the discount. So write an expression after. So let's see here. We don't know the regular price, so I'll call it P. We do know that it's the regular price minus 15%. Now, what is 15% as a decimal? We know to change all percents to decimals. We could just take 15. And there's really a decimal right here. Move over two places to the left. One and two. So it's 15 hundredths times that original price. Okay, and I'll let you figure this out real quick. Let's say the sweater costs $34. Hmm, let me clear some of my annotations here. Now we know P. P is the actual price. So if the actual price is $34, we have $34. Let me get a yellow color here. $34 minus, now it's 15% of that sweater. We're figuring out. Now, just because I need to crunch a time, I use my calculator. I have 3400. Actually, that's a lazy way, Scott. Let's go 3400 times 1500. That gives me 20. That's 17. Done with that 5. I'll put a 0 here. I'll place value. Hold the place value. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 3 is 3. 0, 11, 4, and 5. Move it over twice. We're getting uh, $5.10 off. $34 minus $5.10. That is zero. That's going to give me a 10. That's going to give me a 3. 10 minus 1 is 9. Can't take away 5 from 3, so cross out 2. I get 13. 13 minus 5 is Maggie. Help me. 13 minus 5 is what is that? 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5 is yes, 8. Thank you, Maggie. Put the 2 here. I have $28.90 that I'm going to pay for this sweater once it's on sale. All right, hope this helps you out. Take care.